Right, Theo, DJ Touche, part of the Wise Guys. Don't know how to introduce you. How, how should I? Well, you've done it now. Although I am the Wise Guys, it's two in one. So tell us about the new album, which is... The Antidote. <laughs> it is a continuation from the last album. It's, it's, an, it's a Wise Guys album. It sounds like a Wise Guys album, but it's just... I've progressed. Obviously, it's just better. It's more sophisticated. It's just more distilled, the sound. And it's got a few more sort of angles on it now, like the more sort of up-tempo stuff. And, it's still, uh, and there's still the rap tracks and the kind of moody tracks as well. It's just, it's a wise guy. Because you are quite a moody guy, aren't you? People, some people know me like that as a bit of a sort of an angry young man, but I'm all right, I get on with life, I'm socially <laughs> adjusted. The new single, Start the Commotion, another sort of flawless slice of hip hop. Is that how you would put it? Uh, yeah, but it's hip hop with my sort of slant. I mean, I come from a time when hip hop was a mixture of tempos, do you know what I mean? So to me, a hip hop record doesn't still have to be 85, 90 BPM. Those beats were the things that used to get you going, the work tempo stuff, so I still have a lot of um, passion and I want to use them and exercise a few demons that way, you know, I don't want to <laughs> do everything slow, there's room to do some faster sort of dance floor stuff as well. That new tune, is it on the album? It is, yeah. And when's the album coming out? Uh, supposedly, uh, <laughs> the beginning of October. This is your first residency as well, isn't it, in uh, London? Yeah, because I'm not really one for residencies. I'd, if I'm going to do one, I'd rather do something like this, like a smaller thing where I kind of know a lot of the people. Just play records and just have a laugh. You can get away with it in a place this size, you know. Play like quite upfront stuff, but then you drop in like an old classic. Everyone just loves it. You know, you just break it up a bit so it's not this monotonous, oh, this is a big beat club or this is a house record club, you know. <laughs> just have a bit of a laugh with it. You're the only DJ the propeller heads take on tour with them. Why is this? Uh, Do you play all their records? No, it's because when we first did uh, the first ever sort of Wall of Sound tour, it was myself and Paul DJing, Derek and John and stuff, and Propeller Heads Live, and no one had ever heard of them. And it was right. just like them building up the first tour, and then it seemed to work, and I did another tour with them, and it became like brand loyalty. We just have a bit of a laugh.